The situation was not good of the hunger due to war crashes between the communities of Trukana community and Pokot. Some of them came when they were sick, no food, so it was not easy. So we are able to support our children as well as our children. We are able to support our children, our mothers, our sisters, sababu mtu alikuwa ameoncheka ukienda hospitali unapewa dawa kwenda kumesa zile dawa zinakuwa fake sababu tumbo iko empty na dawa yenye kupea inakushinda kwa nguvu it was not easy but uh, thank god later we received food from just with something as support sisi kwa kwa kikundi chetu ama kwa wale wengine huwa tunaongea nawa uh, tukawanelea sio vizuri tu tupatiwe chakula sababu chakula ya kupewa itaweza likuje kufikia njiani gari inapata panja at least basi labda kama Mungu atafungua barabara yote kama serikali atatokezea kama ni wafadhili gani watatokezea watufuatie kitu ambayo tutakula kula pole pole data we came up with a the greenhouse which we were assisted we planted uh, some tomatoes and in due to that training the agriculture office they have uh, been coming they come to support us to see to check whether there is any disease how far the tomato pruning also we didn't know when to prune the staff came to office that is five months ago like four to five months ago she approached us in the office to help in the bringing up the tomatoes in the greenhouse. That is when we learned about the greenhouse in Kambiturkana, owned by self-help group, Sukuta group. Uh, even from the day we planted, they were here. They came and showed us how to plant, how to water. After that, they, they were coming three times a week just to, to show us what to do because we had no crew. We have never done it. It was our first time. I normally coach them how to do the husbandry practice of tomatoes. Yeah, that is including pruning. They didn't know, but I, with time, they have done it well. Sisi hapa wali atukujua ni patigani nafaa kwa prune. Lakini kwa saizi at least tumejua, ile ina mea chini ya hiyo mea ambaye inafaa kuenda juu hiyo ndiyo inafaa kuprunua ile ambaye yuko chini yake. So hiyo ndio kitu muhimu ambaye sisi tunaweza jivunia ya kwamba tumegeni kwa training ya leo. Uh, wale watu wa agriculture wakatufunza wakati mnakuja asubuhi inabidi ukuje asubuhi ikifika saa 12 ama ikifuatia sana saa moja. Saa 12 inakuja unagusa hivi kitu hivi. Sasa ukigusa hivi unaona kama kuna wadudu wanaruka kwa hapa wakati hii miti inatingisika. Sasa kuona inaruka inabidi nitafutie dawa. Ni kwa nini hii wadudu wakaingia hapa nitafutie dawa. Sasa hii ndio kitu huwa inanifanya niamuke asubuhi. Wakati tunakuja hapa tunakuja asubuhi naona kuna mamiti kwekwe imemea hapa ndani mpaka tukuje tutootoe. Na wakati ingine tunakuja tunadunga hii mchanga. Kwa sababu ukirudia kuweka weka maji unakuta ile mchanga imejikanda. Imekuwa ngumu wakati maji inamwagikia badala ya kuingia ndani ya mchanga inaenda juu inamwagika kando. Sasa sasa tunakuja tunafalilia na dunga tu hivi na kisu na kisu na kisu. Alafu sasa ndio maji ikiingia inaenda chini. Kufikia kesho asubuhi unakuta miti imefurai kabisa ime, imeangara. The agriculture people they feel good because they can they see there are the same group which is really uh, coming up bringing development coming out to be safely lines for themselves. The greenhouse, the beneficiaries are the members themselves and also community around here. After we have a greenhouse, we have to go to the house. We have to go to the house with my mother, to go to the house, spinach and manavu. And we have to eat it. After we have to go to the greenhouse, we have to go to the house. Inafanya ndio tukaenda saa mtu anasema na tukipanda kitu fulani kwa fulani sitakuwa tukaanza. Sasa naona ingine usimetufungua macho na hata mawazo akili. 
The benefits of this greenhouse are many. First, employment. Because of this greenhouse, some people are, have started INGP because they buy, then they sell. And because people want these tomatoes, they say they are nice. So some people have started in business which were not there before. Kati nyanya hii liipa ni kakuja ni kachukua. Ni kachukua kama kilo tano hii. Lipo chukua ilikuwa kubwa kubwa mara kwanza hiyo sasa. Ni kausa, ni kaisha. Ni kaona naendalea kwa mzuri. Kati ambaye na uza hii, napata silingi ni atatu. Ni kemalisa hiyo, hiyo nini, hiyo nyanya. Hiyo nyanya nini, silingi miya saba. Napata silingi miya tatu, faida. Kesho tena hivyo. Hata ikilalu napata tu kidogo. Si watoto yangu walali hivyo, walali bure. Kwa sababu napata. Asara ni pesa uende ustoku kwa account, isifanya kazi, sasa hiyo pesa hijia saa. Lakini sasa ukueka kwa hii shamba naona hiyo pesa ime, ime ukuja. Asara ni ugawanyia watu wa ntimembers, mwepata elupu dhala vini, unasema divide by 14, mwepata elupu labda elupu moja moja ama miya sita sita. Si hiyo pesa itakua imeisha. So mutarudi tena kwa hile mchango ya kila ziku, hapana, sasa hili mbudget, hiyo pesa mutafute hile kitu itafanya hii pesa isai. They keep the, they use the profit to, say, to to support the family. Now it is they are working. They are in working class. Challenge is the water. The water here is saline. With saline water, it increases the pH of the soil. That then some of the nutrients are compressed down. The other challenge. Concerning water, they buy water. You see, most of the money they get, they buy water. They don't have their own borehole, which they can do the irrigation. Since we started selling, we have collected around 20, 20, 20 to, to, to 30 there. I would say 30. But we have spent money on buying the, the metals to support the tomatoes because they have many fruits and they are becoming more heavy. Also, diseases, we had to buy some uh, pesticide for the diseases for preventing, which has really helped us. So, we came to the greenhouse, 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 changa tuinue hiyo greenhouse izidi kuendelea kwa sababu tumeona greenhouse inatusaidi na inatufaidi so ni sisi wakati hiyo hiyo support itaondoka sisi wenyewe tujikakamue kui support ndio iendelee isikufe inasaidia members pamoja na familia na watu wengine kwa hivyo community hapa itakuwa imefika hatua kwa upande wa food security kama mnao jeesu kama mnao jeesu